happy Wednesday evening. It is five o'clock on Wednesday, July 21st. That's Eastern New York Toronto time. Mm -hmm. I always have to pause because I, I say, <laughs> I can say a date and then it immediately leaves my brain. <laughs> These things, these are the things that don't stick in my brain. I thought it was the tw the 19th or 20th. You you thought it was why. Tuesday? I, think I thought it was the 20th. The today. 20th. Yeah. No, today is the 21st. You're it's sure about that? Midweek? Right? It's Wednesday? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's <laughs> Aha! Wednesday. You said pretty sure. <laughs> so you're not sure at so all. So I'm not 100% not sure. Actually, it could not be Wednesday night, depending on where you are. <laughs> it might be Thursday morning, so. <laughs> hi, everybody. Anyway, hi. Welcome for hanging out with us. It is a live stream here. Um, we are going to talk about some quick and easy back to school crochet projects. Um, I did have a bunch of sort of requests a little uh, about like, I guess over the course of the last week, we did our Christmas make ahead stash live stream last week, where we kind of rounded up a few projects that you might want to um, just have in your back pocket in case you want to pull out um, one of them and sort of, ah, I feel like crocheting, but I don't know what to do. These are nice little fun things that you can make a bunch of and stuff into your make ahead stash so that you can pull them out if you need a gift uh, when the busy festive season rolls around uh, because I'm always short for time at that time of the year to make things and I assume you guys will be too. So today we are going to just back the calendar up a little bit. We have a poll running in the chat that Mr. In Stitches is looking after for us. And the question is, do you guys go back to school in August or September? Uh, most of the most of the schools I'm aware of go back in September, but I do know of two that go back in August. Um, and I'm just wondering if you do go back in August, do you guys have air conditioning? Because our schools did not have air conditioning. And I can remember a couple of pretty hot Junes and I, a couple of pretty hot September. I always, always, always remember going back to school in September. And just sweltering. Um, the, there was only, okay, like sometimes there were summer school programs mm -hmm. that lasted a couple of weeks and they may, maybe were in August. Those were in August. Um, yeah. But I always remember September as the... Yeah, usually like for the our, day after Labor Day here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it's not like that everywhere. No. Um, so far, August is winning in the poll. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. So does that mean then um, that the kids are off earlier? Like I'd say we need more boats to come June, in. June, June, the very end of June, like the 28th of June is usually the last day of school around here. So does that mean that people who are back to school in mm -hmm. August finish earlier? It, I'm so curious. it sounds like uh, some schools do have air conditioning. Well, that's good. So lucky, 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 lucky little you buggers, guys. lucky <laughs> students. Because <laughs> we did not, and boy howdy, it was hot in some of those rooms, especially the internal rooms that didn't have any windows, and you're just sort of sitting there going, "I, I know you're talking, but I'm so hot. I'm sorry." <laughs> Woo! But then it gets pretty cold here, so <laughs> not a big deal. Oh my god! Looks like we're having some um, some good reports for our stream and some. Quasi, quasi buffering mm -hmm. so we kind of noticed our internet acting a little funny today. yeah yeah so you might see some you know some buffering our internet has been um, funny we'll so far do this our week best. yes so hopefully it will uh, hang in there if things get really bad and they buffer a lot just um close out or back out of the window and reload the stream yeah, and then yeah. that should hopefully catch itself up uh, cause that, that's a, that's a typical good fix. We're never going to be like a hundred percent crystal clear though, because our live streams just can't handle that with our bandwidth. We just so. do not have we don't the have internet it. speed no. for that. <laughs> Having said that, let's talk about some back to school projects. We thought we would focus on really quick and cute things, um, with a handful again, like our stash video from last week, I've got four different, um, categories of projects. Uh, so if you've got a little notebook and a pen, you can maybe write a few of these down if any of them appeal to you. I've got uh, links available for Mr. and Stitches. He's going to plunk them into the live chat as we go. And after this live stream becomes a regular video, we'll make sure those links are in the description box as well so you can see them all there. Um, we also have a full <laughs> playlist with about 30 different projects that we consider kind of fun for back to school. Uh, shout out to Tori. Hey, and Tori. Tori's daughter, Lily. Hey, Lily, hi. <laughs> Tori sent us a super chat. Thank, oh, thank you very you. much. Tori thank and you. Lily sent us Tori a super chat. Tori and Lily. Chat. And uh, Tori says, my daughter, Lily, 
says, hi, she thinks you're movie stars. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Willie. <Molly. laughs> Thank you so much. We are yarn movie stars. Okay. Yeah. We, we're, a, we're a movie stars of yarn movies. Yes, yes, yarn movies. Yarn movie stars. <laughs> yarn movie stars. Wooly, wooly movie stars. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Well, thank you. Oh, and a thank you to, we have a re-welcome. A re-welcome. Hey, did a we re-welcome to. Did we create a re-welcome emoji yet? I haven't. Oh. No. You made notes and then we didn't get around to it, but we will. We'll get there. We need a rewelcome. Um, so this is a rewelcome to a uh, member. member. Now I'm trying to pronounce this correctly. <laughs> I oh, can't boy. see it, just so you know. <laughs> Edlicia. Edlicia. I hope I got that right, Edlicia. Wow. Let me know. That's a pretty name. Yeah. That's a Thank pretty you. Name. Re welcome. <laughs> rewelcome to Edlicia. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Jumping in, um, I've got a few reasons to make some of these things. If you haven't quite figured on what would I be making for back to school or why would I bother or I have too many things on the go or gosh that sounds like it's still far away or, I don't know is this going to be hot we're going to talk fibers we're going to talk the reason to make a handful of things and um and also like I said I've got those four little categories so first and foremost ask your kids you may not have to but if you've got kids if you know kids if you are a kid if you're heading back to university or going to university or college for the first time if you're going away to school uh, maybe it's your first day of school maybe it's the first day in a new school there are a whole lot of versions of back to school maybe you are an adult and you are going back to school yourself like i said there's a lot of different reasons to go back to school or to think back to school ask yourself or the people you know who are going back to school if they are excited or if they are kind of nervous. And that might help you come up with some things to help them feel calmer or a little more excited or a little more enticed or inspired or whatever you think they need a little more of <laughs> in their emotional catalog as they go back to school. Might I add mm -hmm. that a lot of the projects you're going to show tonight are also super fantastic for outside of back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there are a lot of people that you know they're not sure that's not part of their life anymore. We, we do a lot of these things have so, a bit of a fallish theme yes um but they also and some of them are very fun some of them are very fun some of them are almost you'd say maybe like a toy yeah maybe i might say maybe that a toy? um back that to school right in my opinion means back to learning so you know even if you aren't physically going to a building or logging into a class maybe you're going to plan on getting into a particular learning series this fall, or maybe you want to like start investigating a new topic or a new hobby or any of the things that might be considered learning. It doesn't necessarily mean going back to the good old brick and mortar building. Um, so there might be something here that you may find handy if you have uh, relearning or learning projects of your own ahead. Um, definitely, I would still continue to crochet with the weather. So if it's really, really hot where you are, then consider cotton projects or very small projects or very lightweight yarn projects. And if it's cool where you are, then I would consider the warmer yarns. Or if you work in air conditioning, then it doesn't really matter. You can kind of get into any project that you actually feel like. So that's the fiber content. As far as inspiration is concerned, whoever you're making it for, let them inspire you. You know, maybe it's their age. Maybe it's the kind of learning they're going to. Um, if they're going away to school, you know, think about things that maybe might make them feel a little more at home, especially if they're decorating a dorm room or something for the first time. Um, anything that might make it make their room feel a little more cozy and a little more homey. Uh, to make that adjustment from away from home feel uh, a little less sort of long or far away. Uh, so those are the kinds of things you want to think about when you're planning a project. And um, this is there are also some things here that you might just want to make and put in your stash. <laughs> Because this, this is a lot of the stuff here is stuff that I like, things that I like to decorate with, even if I am not, I'm not giving it away. Um, some of these things are just generally cute. That's my personal opinion. So let's start with toys and decor. That's my first little category today. Um, we've got some stuffed goodies and we have some uh, coasters. So coasters are great if you've got a desk. Who doesn't have a desk to work on? Um, I've got a few of them here. We've got a fun little quick fix tutorial from a while back. It's the pumpkin and apple coaster video. And I've actually made a bunch and I've, I've put them on a garland. So just so you know that there are a lot of different options <laughs> to use this with. This is a little, if you make it in red, it kind of shows up looking like an apple. And if you make it in orange, 
it'll look a little bit more like a pumpkin. And like I said, I made a bunch of these and I also attached them to a very simple because I have a kind of a fall Thanksgiving Halloween themed garland that I've, I added them to a little while ago. But they also make great posters if you use cotton yarn. So that makes them a really nice now kind of project. Cotton is cool. It doesn't really feel hot or sticky in your fingers. And a stack of coasters that are either apples or pumpkins or both look really cute for the entire fall season. You can make a single apple coaster for a teacher or a bus driver, somebody that is like a little kind of like, hey, welcome to the new year, nice little little something for their desk. Um, if you yourself um, have family members who are teachers, that's a nice little gift to give them. And it's a nice little thing to put on your desk or your child's desk, just to kind of encourage them to get used to sitting back at the desk kind of doing some homework, maybe doing a little reading. And of course you can have your little gla glass of water on your little coaster. And that's a fun little, very quick project. And you don't have to make an entire set. You can make one, like a mug rug, as opposed to a set of coasters. Um, so that's really easy, really cute. And depending on the color you use, you can even you can make green apples, you can make yellow apples, you can make red apples. Apples come in lots of colors. Um, and then of course, orange for pumpkins. And um, very quick, super little like uh, scrap project. And I, I just love that. I feel like it, it looks it looks very cheerful <laughs> on the desk. <laughs> so that's the first one, a coaster. Nice and super simple, really quick. Um, how about a couple of stuffed things? So apples, continuing with the apple theme, we have a stuffed apple. This was um, a little project we made for, I think this might have been part of our Snow White series. We're creating costume pieces mm -hmm. for Snow White. Um, we but, have a, we have a fun little intro to that video. Yes, if everyone's curious. Yes, we do. We have. Um, Did you pull I think that? that one might up? be for. Is that for the apple? That's for the apple. I think that's for the three D apple. Yeah, yeah. There's the stuffed apple. The should stuffed be there. apple. Big stuffed. Oh, I don't want to give them give them away. <laughs> no, just big should, stuffed should apple. Stuffed there it apple. is. Yes. It's got a little puckered bottom. It's got a little a little um, sort of stem and an apple leaf. This is also a nice, cute, quick little project. Also makes a nice little back to school gift for teacher. Um, and if you make them with finer weight yarn um, or even gold metallic yarn, these make really pretty little decorations for the Christmas tree. So if you're thinking ahead ahead, you don't necessarily have to make apples for back to school. Um, stuffed apples look really pretty sort of sitting around the tree or hanging on the tree. Um, there's an old, story that has something to do with a golden apple that might even be the name of it i'm not sure that sounds familiar that i remember from the my golden childhood apple. i think it yeah it had sort of a christmasy feel someone it. someone in the chat might know yeah somebody help yeah me. golden apple i recall what, what story is that from from i remember being school. really really young and seeing what i'm pretty sure was a british production on tv somewhere around the christmas season and it was kind of magical and a little bit scary, but I think I was like four or five at the time and everything was a little bit magical and a little bit scary to me mm, then. Of course. <laughs> but I remember thinking, ooh, a golden apple, how pretty, or a golden pear. It was a golden pear or a golden apple. Anyway, mm -hmm. fruit, nice Christmas decoration, not necessarily just for back to school. I just um, want to let, just pause cute. for a minute. I want to mm -hmm. let everyone know that when Jada mentions one of the tutorials that we have, I'm going to plug the link to that video in the chat. In the chat. And you can um, I will include you them can in the description box. you can come back to this video anytime mm -hmm. in the future, and you can go to those links and yeah, I'm done. Thank you, Mr. Sidney. <laughs> <laughs> I know when you're teasing me. I'm not, I'm not dumb. You're not dumb. No, you're no. not dumb. So that's the apple. All right. In keeping with other stuffed goodies, decorations slash toys, we have little mini pumpkins. I. Love these. We made these during the live stream. Um, is this the, the this is not the but we also okay. no we also we also did a quick fix. So there's a live stream in which we make these um, in real time together, and then we did a quick fix follow up video a couple days later, just so you could sort of have the the Coles notes. It's a very simple little project. Um, I, again, pumpkins are an adorable little shape. This one is just. So stinking cute. I just love it. It's really, really simple. It's got a little a little stem. The stem is built into it as you make it. Um, and they look really cute in all colors. And I see, like last year, I found that gray pumpkins and white pumpkins were really starting to be like a big decorative trend in the, the gourd industry. So I made a gray one. I made a little white one. And I made a, a, an orange one. Actually, I've made a lot of these. I like to decorate with these. 
I have added them to um, festive wreaths. So I make a few and I stick them around the wreath. So if you're into making wreaths, that's a fun little addition to put on there. This is also a cute little gift for someone to just sit on their, their desk or maybe sit on the shelf. Um, if you only have a handful of people coming at Halloween, then a couple of these um, are a cute little gift instead of candy. Um, that's a really quick, good scrap project. It's very appropriate for the entire fall. So this kind of can carry, this sort of little decor can carry right to the fall. And um, it's such a fun, fast little project that you might want to make a couple and just tuck them into your make ahead stash in case you're going off to see a friend, you know, on the weekend or something during the fall. And you could just bring them a little pumpkin, a little decorative pumpkin. So that's our little mini pumpkin. We have a slightly larger pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, a similar build, but it's a larger pattern. Um, and this one also has a little curly Q bit of um, vine attached to it. So I made I made a couple. I have one in lighter orange, one in darker orange. And that's a fun little tutorial. Uh, Professor Stitch made a, a guest appearance. Oh, did she teach. make a guest appearance? She, she, she did the intro for that particular oh, video. Oh. Uh, but there's a fun little catch to this video. So she you kind can, of... Uh kind of appears and then she's she's magical she, she pops in she doesn't and she always pops pop in, in no. but i never know when she's coming. she surprises us <laughs> so you can make it using the uh regular medium weight acrylic yarn with i think we used a five half and a five, five and a half millimeter hook um something around there anyway in the video that's how we made them in the video so you can do that but you can use the exact same pattern and use burnout blanket yarn and like an eight millimeter hook i think it's also known as an l or 11 and follow the exact same pattern and you can get a rather large pumpkin from the exact same pattern. So you don't have to change the stitch count or anything. You just upsize the yarn you're using, upsize the hook you're using, and you get a really cute, real sized pumpkin. Um, a few of these at the door. Uh, actually, I usually have these at the door and, and almost every single time some little trick or treater says, can I have one of your pumpkins? <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> they're soft and squishy and they're cute. It makes a cute little like they're fantastic. It's a cute decor. Great toy. Great it's pillow, a cute toy. Great decor. It's a nice little toy. Yeah, there's a you know, there's a lot of reasons why somebody might like a big cheery stuffed pumpkin. Yes. <laughs> so, like I said, this is the same tutorial. It's just depending on the hook and yarn you use, you can get two very differently sized pumpkins out of that. So this is heading a little more into the fall, but I love pumpkins so much. I always kind of include them in the back to school kind of fall decor kind of uh, category. Does this ring a bell? The shepherd boy golden apple. It doesn't ring a bell for me. Okay. I am really going to make you guys work. And someone mentioned a, a story about Atlantis, but I don't think so. This is, I remember. That's different i, I can see this I can is definitely see the, a christmas I can story see the childhood book and i can see the page i can see the page that has the the drawings that have the golden apple on it i saw but i don't remember the story it was a it was i remember watching it like this and it was in three parts <laughs> and i remember being very excited and not wanting to make sure that i didn't miss each episode so this is why i think it may have been a bbc production because i'm pretty sure the kids had british accents um i remember and a moment in the show where a kid was running through a dark alley. It was dark. It was late at night. And he was running and it was cold. You're talking about a, a book and or This was or a, a movie. Show. This was a three-part oh, movie, movie I watched on TV as a kid. I'm and he up. ran up to someone and he said, he was panting and he was out of breath. And he said, I saw someone and I, I was told to find someone and tell someone that someone is safe. That's the line. I don't understand what it was in context of. And then I remember a little further on him coming up on a hill and there being like a tree with a, with a glowing apple in it or something. Oh, well. So like this is. We'll see who can figure it I'm out. I'm reaching in the way chat. back into my brain here. This is probably a 70s production. So <laughs> maybe the uh, maybe the myself, maybe but... the Brits will know. <laughs> Maybe yes. everyone in the UK might might find that. It, it also could have it could just as easily have been a TVO production because TVO often sounded like they used a lot yeah, of British actors and stuff. The, TVO TV Ontario back in the day. But yeah, back in the <laughs> way back. In the day. Anyway, I'm not sure, but but I remember being captivated by it, and I've had kind of a thing for golden pears and apples ever since, and I know it has something to do with that show. <laughs> but that's all I know. <laughs>
I think the golden apples were a part of the 12 la labors, labors of Hercules. Twelve, okay. Yes, yes. I'm sure the golden apple was used in many, many stories. Clearly, but this definitely was a Christmas story. Um, okay, we have a super chat from Amy. Hey, Amy. And also, a few people have been asking about the skull. Um, oh, we have a tutorial yeah. on that. It's another little quick fix. It's, uh, this yeah. is more Halloween, but yeah, if you want to get started on Halloween, this is a, I a don't little. Think we have it. Here. We don't have it here. Uh, but it might just be... look up, um, look up um, Jada and Stitch's skull pattern. Skull patch or skull or poster? Skull patch, yeah, something like Jade that. Jada Stitch's skull. It's a quick fix. Yeah, I it's believe. a quick fix. Yeah. Ha! Um, <laughs> Did I get my hair cut? No. No. Should I show everyone my hair? Yeah, I think you should. I think it's high time. Okay, but you can't make fun of me, everyone. <laughs> should I move so we can get it all in the film <laughs> here? What do you think? It's really behaving itself. He ran. He got it wet, so it's dry. Can you? I just can't believe how curly it is. I just. I have hair in me. I, I envy my husband. She won't hair. cut it. It's so pretty. How could I? Uh, his mom likes it too. In my defense, mom likes everything. <laughs> mom is like, oh, it's so pretty. Maybe you should grow longer. Mom says I'm smart and good looking. <laughs> yeah, well, we're. I check all the boxes. <laughs> you check all the boxes. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Ah, Christine says, is that a wig? Yes, it's a wig. It's perfect curly hair. And I, it's a mop. I'm envious. You guys thought my emoji was exaggerated. <laughs> this is when it's been washed and it's dried properly. He's run his fingers through it. When he gets up in the morning, it's like... <laughs> hey, Mr. and Stitch is the 70s called. They want their hairstyle back. L-O-L. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Love it. Love it. Okay, I have one more little stuff. Here comes the super trolling. Oh, and there, I'm getting like, I'm getting mop top. Uh, we're getting mop top stickers now. Oh, it's stickers weird. that look like a, 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 a rug. What are they called? The uh, hair rugs? Hair rugs. <laughs> oh. All right, let me make sure I don't miss miss any of these. Um, so, Amy super chatted us. Hey, says, thank you, Amy. My son is getting married in October and wants. Fall slash Halloween theme wedding. Awesome. I will be making all the decor. These pumpkins will be perfect. Yes. Thanks. Yes. You yeah, can, can you imagine them as like centerpieces, the centerpieces and then with the little ones and then some like and ivy. Then if, you know, if you do that thing where, where somebody yeah. wins the centerpiece, then they're actually going home with like a they're real gonna sweet love gift. It. They're, gonna, they're all going to be fighting over it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so neat. Well, congratulations to your son, Amy. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, some people love the hair. Some her. people are making fun of it. <laughs> it's okay. I can handle it. Some of you have seen it with a shaved head. I can so handle it. So you know it. the difference. <laughs> um, okay. And <laughs> Vicky is the one that sent the super sticker. Thank you, Vicky. Making fun of me. Yes. <laughs> Wee. So All right. One more stuffed goodie. I actually love this. We have two different pencil, <laughs> uh, stuffed pencil <laughs> tutorials. We've got a little stuffed pencil that's um, about the same length as a standard pen, but obviously it's thick like a toy. Um, and that's a fun little, that's, a, that's an older tutorial. It was one of the first stuffed tutorials we did here on the channel. Um, and it's cute. Oh yeah. I've made that a bunch of those. Back a, a and uh, I've given them out at, at Halloween before, but they're also just a cute little little stuffed toy gift, especially for like the, 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 the young, young set who are maybe going off to school for the first time and aren't really gonna be doing a lot of reading or writing. So, you know, your preschoolers, um, your junior kindergarten, stuff like that. This is our giant pencil pillow. I've made two of them. This is the one we made in the actual tutorial. Uh, I used mostly <clears throat> blanket yarn so that, again, that, that lovely thick, soft stuff that I made the pumpkin out of, the burnout blanket yarn. Um, but I didn't have burnout blanket yarn for all of it, so I mixed in pairing up either other size six acrylic yarns. This is a polyester, these two are acrylic, but it's all man-made, so it all it all works out in the end. Uh, so these are all size six yarns. And this, <laughs> and I think, and the black stuff are just two strands of a size four medium weight acrylic, your standard red heart or whatever, <laughs> held together. And that equals up to the same size as the- That, size that size. one's one of my favorites. This is one of my is favorites. Is the big fat pencil. I love this pencil. Yeah. This is, this is we, have a, we have a series of big, fat, fluffy, pillows yes um, but this one is so cute yeah. i just love this and we made this quite a while ago but... yeah that's at least two or three years ago yeah maybe three um again great toy or pillow or a bit of decor for a young child 
a teenager, Maybe even a teacher. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, because it is just, it's it's quirky. I love quirky fun gifts. Um, it's soft. It makes a great pillow. It makes a great draft uh, stop if you've got a door with a bit of a draft under it. Um, it's just super cute and fun. <laughs> All right. I'm doing a, a new poll. Okay. So I'm going to end this poll. This poll is, <clears throat> um, when is back to school for you? Yes. We said August or September, if so it's different. Then is I'm your last 10 seconds to cast your vote if you're interested? That is all of the toys and decor that we're just going to talk about today. And most of that is like, again, we're focusing on quick and easy. These are all relatively quick, depending on how fast you crochet. Um, if you're using size six yarn and a big hook, projects like this don't take very <laughs> long. Um, and they're all very easy. They're all very, very easy, especially the pumpkins. These are so easy, really easy projects. So if it's easy, it generally helps make it a little quicker. Are we all complete over there? You mind your own business. <laughs> I'm having a chat with everyone in private. <laughs> You've got a giant smile on your face, so I'm trying to figure out what you're up to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a new poll. Great. How was the old poll? What did that come out as? Um, the old poll was, when is back to school for you? August, and six, 62% said August. Wow! 37% said September. That's so cool. I would yeah. never have guessed that. So, hey, a lot of people start in August. That's interesting. So then you definitely want to like, be making a handful of things. Yeah, if you make we got a, some back to school. We goodies. got a recommendation <clears throat> from Crafty Crochet Kitten. Okay. A crochet <laughs> snail. Oh, I think that would be really fun. That would be cute. Yeah, I like that. Idea. I think I've actually got snail written down. Yeah. Yes, I think I do because I've actually wanted to make a snail for a while. It's just another one of those things I haven't gotten around to. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> Snails are so cute. <laughs> All right, next column or category of nice back to school projects that are fairly quick and pretty cute are useful things, things that I would consider useful. Um, so. The coasters we talked about already, they also fall into the decor category, but they're also useful. So useful, pretty, decorative, quick. That's one of my favorites so far. Uh, but the other ones are sweet little sacks. We've got several different fun little sack tutorials. We've got an apple sack, a pumpkin sack, and a pencil sack. And they're all a little bit different. The apple and the pumpkin are fairly similar, about the same, same size. This one's full of some nice wooden beads. Um, obviously sacks are Did super useful and handy. Did you show the tiny pencil? The tiny the pencil? Really oh, I didn't, one? I don't have the small one. Oh. I don't have any, I've, I've given them all away. The but little one. Yeah, I included the, the link there for oh, okay, you. I'll just plug that in. It basically there. looks like a... It's a, a miniature version of that one. It's about this yeah. tall, it's a miniature version of this. So. Yep, it's much smaller. Good stuff. Um, little sacks are great. This is, uh, these are great if you want to put them in your backpack or your purse. If you've got little things that you want to keep kind of handy or easily grabbable so they don't fall to the bottom of your purse. Um, and I'm thinking, you know, anything, a snack, maybe, maybe your hand sanitizer or a spare mask or something if you've got to zip out. So that's great for the purse, the backpack, whatever. Um, these are also just really cute for decor too. I keep a lot of um, craft supplies in mine and I keep them up on the shelves in the craft room so that I kind of know what's in each bag. It's a nice way to store things and I also have like the added added fun of having some cute sort of decorative seasonal themed things around the room. Um, last year for back to school we actually did this little project of a little miniature pencil purse. It's a little pencil pouch. So it's a drawstring top, really simple. And the idea is that you can hang it off the uh, side of your purse or your backpack or something. So it doesn't actually have to get lost in your bag. And this is a good size for a small bottle of um, hand sanitizer. So I'm, I'm guessing that most people are still going to be carrying around hand sanitizer for quite a while if they didn't already long before the pandemic. I know, I think we always have some hand sanitizer or something on us. Um, but it's just a handy little thing to have. Little hand sanitizer bottles are small. Once again, they can get lost at the bottom of your, you know, pouch or your bag. And if you've got a busy backpack and there's a lot of heavy books and stuff going into it, that'll be the first thing to get squished and like, like drain all over the bottom of your backpack. So these little sacks that you can kind of 
tuck onto the outside of your bag or just hang it on the inside where it's not going to get lost or get pulled down to the bottom. That'll help keep things like that protected or anything else. If you've got, um, you know, if you've got a lip chap or any kind of small little thing that you're always reaching for, this is a really cute little, little um, pouch to put that in. Also doesn't take very long and um, it's a nice little present for anybody who's going back to school, no matter what their age or a teacher, or if you're like me and you just absolutely love pencils. I think pencils are so cute. Anyway, that is our little pouches. So we've got the pumpkin, we've got an apple, and we've got our little pencil pouch. And all of those are, I'm going to say, they're definitely afternoon. Anything you see here is probably an afternoon or less in terms of time. Now, of course, that depends on how quickly you crochet. I crochet rather quickly. Um, so, you know, something like this I can make in about 15 minutes or so, but I'm not expecting everybody to be able to crochet that fast. <laughs> Plus, when you're brand new to a tutorial or new to a pattern, you're even a little bit down. And if you make something several times, like, for example, if you make one of these, the first time it might take you half an hour. The second time it might take you 25 minutes. And by the third, fourth, fifth time, you might have it whittled down to like 15 minutes because your fingers know what to do. You know, you're only counting once or twice because you kind of know how long it is just by looking at it. Um, and you don't have to stop and think about the directions as often. So the more you make something, the quicker you get at it. Uh, but these are all definitely like an afternoon or less if you can dedicate the time to it. If you're the kind of crocheter who sort of puts in 10 stitches and then runs off to get the phone and then puts in 10 stitches and then runs off to like stir a pot on the stove and then puts in 10 stitches and then runs off to, you know, go pick somebody up, then <laughs> it might take you a little longer. But um, all together, it won't take you that much time. So these are, like I said, quick and cute. Um, so those are our useful little sacks. And of course, the coasters we mentioned earlier. Um, I, I, I'm always making up little sacks. If we've got lots of little cute animal sacks too. So if you're looking for something that's a little less fruit-like, <laughs> like an apple or a pumpkin, uh, or even a pencil, we have a chick and a bunny and a bear. And I think we have, I know we have a pattern for, I, I think we have a cat as well. So those are four animal sacks. And at our Etsy shop, we also have a pattern for a panda sack. So if you're looking for an animal sack instead, it would be about this size. It's just that it's sort of, looks like an animal, but um, we figured we'd highlight the pumpkin and the apple because these are quicker to do and um, they don't have like little faces, which can take up a little extra time. So that is the useful stuff. On to the wearables. I have two very simple wearables um, to show you today. And this is more, I guess, more for the girls. I don't... Did I miss a... Uh... What did you just talk about? I was just talking about the uh, the sacks. The so sacks. The, so I, the I got apple, the pencil, the pumpkin, and, and the, the pencil. Pumpkin. And there's an apple sack too. Okay. Let me make sure I put those in the chat. Um, we have a couple of scrunchy tutorials. I don't have the scrunchies here, but they are wicked quick and they are great scrap busters and you can use any fiber you like. And of course you can make dozens of them to match um, outfits. So if you are yourself into wearing scrunchies or you know somebody who is, that's a great little gift to whip up a bunch of. Um, we have a scrunchie tutorial that uses um, sewing elastic, so an old sort of fashioned uh, traditional made scrunchie, the type that you would make like a fabric tube and then string elastic in the middle. We also have a scrunchie that you just crochet right onto a hair elastic. So if you don't have any sewing elastic or you don't want to bother with a needle and thread, then um, if you've got a hair elastic handy, we've got a tutorial that just shows you how to crochet right onto it. Um, both of them are fun. Both of them are really quick. Great little scrap busters. And I don't have them here, but uh, we do. I think I might have included links. If not, just just Which search one? Jada and Stitches Scrunchy. I don't know if I have the Scrunchy tutorials there. I don't see it. Because I didn't have any to show. But It is not here. That's fine. Scrunchy. So I think one we have Scrunchy with a Y and one we have Scrunchy with an IE. Because I think there's a couple ways to spell it. I don't remember. Um, the other one that I want to share is our little headband tutorial. So this is, again, another little uh, older tutorial. This is very fast, very simple, um, and you can make it to fit anybody because it's got little strings. So it's like it ties on sort of like, like this and then you would tie it underneath your hair. Um, I wear this one a lot, which is why it looks a little gnarled. <laughs> um, it's only uses single crochet and some slip stitching. So it's a really simple project if you're a beginner. It's only a few rows long. You can make it wider if you want. You can make it narrower if you like. It's uh, quite customizable once you get kind of comfortable with the pattern itself. And you can decorate it too. Um, if you want, you can add 
little tiny crocheted appliques to it. We have a little heart that we added here. Um, I did a simple little border around this one. I think it's just a little Pico border, nothing complicated. Um, so you can have a little bit, you can make it a little, a little more girly like this one, or you can just make them nice and simple and plain. Um, I even have a blue one somewhere that I added ears to that you may have seen me wearing in some of our older videos. Uh, it's a handy little pattern and headbands are great. I felt like as a teenager, I was always reaching for one and I, and I, mm -hmm. and I would leave them leave them in my bag. They'd get lost in my purse. I would leave them downstairs. I was always looking for a hairband to kind of put my hair back. And same thing with scrunchies. So these are really quick, really easy patterns. So are the scrunchies. They're very wearable. They're more for people with long hair. Um, I, 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 I think girls when I think of hair bands, but I know guys that wear hair bands too. So <laughs> you know the person you're making something for. If, uh, if they're really into frilly things, make it a little extra frilly. If they're a little more plain Jane, then make it nice and plain. Um, or try a scrunchie, really, really easy. I have a bonus wearable that I'm gonna share with you just because I found it uh, while I was looking for stuff and I love this hat so much. This is our beret tutorial. So we have a beret tutorial in which we used um, a cupcake, a Karen cupcake. That was really cute. And the, the gist of the tutorial is basically showing you how to make an ever increasing circle and then how to start decreasing again. And we figured that since we were gonna show you how to do that, we would make a little beret in the process. Um, so you can follow that tutorial and use, use all red for your beret and then just add a couple rows of white on the end if you want to make it look like there's a little bit of a, a mushroom stalk. And then you can just make um, a few different sized, smaller white, dots. Um, so this is just sort of two, three, or four rows of increasing. So you're working only in the single crochet, and maybe you're doing, you know, uh, a base ring of six single crochet, and then a couple rows of increase, or a base ring of four single crochet, and a couple rows of increase, or eight, or whatever you like. If they look odd, and the circles aren't perfect, that's actually perfect. <laughs> because mushrooms are a naturally occurring thing, and they don't usually have perfect round circle. So if you want something like this to look a little more organic. So if you're in the mood for something a little quirky, I absolutely love this hat. I start wearing it in the fall because I love, love mushrooms and toadstools. Um, and it's, it's just, it's just, it's so cute. <laughs> but that's how you can make one of these. This is a little bit longer because it is a hat tutorial. Um, and then of course you're making little things to add on to it afterwards. So I wouldn't classify this typically in the quick and cute back to school projects. But a new beret or a new hat to wear to school was always something that I wanted. And uh, I thought you guys might like to see, see that just because we don't have a specific tutorial on this hat, but we do have a tutorial on the beret um, and you can just make it in red with a couple of rows of white and add some dots. And uh, I don't see the beret link. I don't have that there either. That's uh, what? <laughs> we only have one beret tutorial. You're getting demoted today. Actually, I think this is kind of my job. You, is, you took I took over your <laughs> you job. took over my job. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting demoted mm -hmm, today. Yes. Um, okay, that is the toys and decor, the useful, the wearable. We have one more category of cute and quick projects for back to school, and that would be bookmarks. It's the studious version of our back to school stuff. And of course, bookmarks are great for anybody. You don't have to be going back to school, you might just be getting back to the books whatever that might be, or just picking up a new book. Um, and we've got three different tutorials anything, now. Anything we have that relates to hair, just mm -hmm. type in Jada and Stitch's hair yeah. accessory. Because we've got you hair bands, get, ear warmers. We have we've so got much stuff. Headbands. We've got cute little headbands with cat ears. And yeah. they're a little more like kind of costume related. Yeah. We've got a lot of headband related things. Uh, so headband and hair band and hair. Head, yeah, look up Jada and Stitch's <laughs> hair band, hair. headband. <laughs> hair accessory. Yes. Yeah. And that should pop them all up. Yeah, we've or got most quite a few. of them. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk um, bookmarks. Before we talk bookmarks, sure. I would like to shout out Stephanie, <laughs> Hi, who Stephanie. has we are re-welcoming <laughs> Stephanie to our membership. You're Actually, welcome. Stephanie has upgraded. Hey, upgraded. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we need that re-welcome emoji. We also need like a like a uh, yeah, we got to get the re-welcome emoji. We had two emoji ideas oh, yeah. last week. I, you have them I, I thought I wasn't done with um, notes, but... Kimmy asks, did you see the screenshot I sent to you on Etsy? 
Most likely, yes. Yes, I think so. Those are the cones, the yarn cones. I think that's what you're talking about, right? The cotton cones. Let us know. Yes, <laughs> yes, I did see it. Thank you. Yeah, we see every we we see everything on Etsy. Um, I just not everyone has the same name on their Etsy account as their YouTube account, yes. so it's hard to yeah. I have to, to I have to stop and for, think for sure. There's a lot of stuff comes. In. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yes, I said, believe I did see those. Okay. Thank you. If you haven't voted on the current poll, vote away because I'm going to shut it down okay. and I'm going to surprise Jada with it. Mm, I don't know what the poll is. Jada has no idea You've what the poll is. You've been smiling the whole time, so it must be amazing. I snuck a poll in there. <laughs> I bet you it has nothing to do with your hair. <laughs> How'd you know? That's not fair. Because I've been you married eyes, to you, you have eyes for a thousand me? years. And I... <laughs> do you have it's eyes a big mirror behind cameras you. on me back here? How do you know that? That's between me and everyone in the you chat. You and everyone else. All right. So we have three different bookmark tutorials. The first one is kind of a fun bookmark tutorial. It's got uh, characters in it. I don't have them with me because I either gave them away or I don't know where they're at at the moment. I can't honestly remember because we made this tutorial a while ago. But it shows you how to make three fun character style um, bookmarks. And I was thinking more for the kids when we put this tutorial together. So we've got a Captain America inspired bookmark. We've got a Minecraft Creeper inspired bookmark. And we have, um, what is the third one? Mickey Mouse. We have a Mickey Mouse inspired bookmark. So those three bookmarks are all part of the same tutorial. Um, and that's, they're fun. They make a nice Christmas gift too, if you've got young readers on your list. But if you want to inspire some good book reading habits uh, for back to school, then one of these might be nice tucked into a new book, like an adventure book or a mystery book or something like that. I love getting new books and bookmarks. I still do love getting new books and bookmarks. That's kind of my thing. Kind of my jam, I love books. Uh, the next bookmark we did, um, I again, don't have any more. <laughs> it's our bookmark. We did this not so long ago. It's really pretty. It's the kind of bookmark that has a big flower that hangs out sort of over the top. There's a sort of a narrow strand that runs through the book and then there's a little, a little leaf out the bottom. And that particular bookmark pattern has a free pattern that goes along with it on our web page. And the website would be jadainstitches.com slash tool, no, slash workshop, right? Yes, I think, I know we have that link there. You're, you're blinking. I wasn't right? paying attention. <laughs> huh. I was reading the chat. You, <laughs> <laughs> at least you're honest. <laughs> I have to be honest with all these eyes and cameras on behind me. Uh, the free, the pattern workshop page. If you've uh, got the link to that, you can. All of our free patterns are on the pattern yeah, workshop and I know you page. Unless... It's something on the members page. No, this one's definitely on the. And then we have page. like one pattern somewhere else. <clears throat> yes. If it's the bookmark. Is it still there? I thought we moved it. Did we move it? Yeah, the bookmark is on the pattern workshop. Yes. Page. If you're looking for the free bookmark pattern, mm -hmm. it's on the pat. It's on the pattern workshop page. Yes. So that's there. So Actually, that's I have a direct link for that. A pretty flower bookmark. See, I'm still doing my job. I've said this to you twice. Did I not say it to him twice? Not listening to. This must be a pretty good poll because you were very distracted. Oh, this poll. You know what? Do you want to hear the poll? <laughs> Only when it's finished. All right. <laughs> I, I ended it. Oh, I did ended. you? Okay. Then, yeah, I want to hear it. Okay. Um, first, I have to find this. <laughs> <laughs> did you move everything on me? No. No. Everything at the top is still at the top. I can't find. Okay. There it is. There's where our free patterns are on the website. We have like 50 or 60 of them. Over 50. So, Over 60. Um, yeah, we have a lot. Yeah, check them out. <clears throat> Most of them have a tutorial. Start a little them. project journal. So if you're learning how to read patterns, it's a great place to start. Get some free patterns. You and um, <clears throat> say it out loud as you go because that right. really helps. So first I'm going to read the poll and then I'm going to okay. read out a couple of super oh, chats we got. Okay. So the poll was, should Jada give Mr. and Stitches a haircut? A back rub. <laughs> No, it's a haircut. <laughs> oh, sneaky. You know what? New poll. <laughs> <laughs> um, 59% say yes. Really? 40%, 41, say no. Huh? I see. Hmm. So everybody is as much a fan of the So not everyone's a fan of the locks. Oh. <laughs> 
Or they're on my side because they know I've been begging you for, it's true. I don't know, it's six true. months. They may be on your side. I don't know. It's tough to say. That. There's a lot of Mr. and Stitches fans out there. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the super chat. Mm -hmm. Courtney Hi, sent Courtney. us a super chat. Thank you. Courtney says, Hi, can you recommend a sturdy crochet stitch or pattern to make a messenger bag for school? Ooh. Love your videos. Yes. Um, first of all, whatever bag you make, I recommend you line it because the lining will keep things from poking through your crochet fabric and it will add a little extra strength and it'll take the weight off the crocheted fabric so that it won't stretch out. And if you want to know how to add a very simple lining into a purse or a bag, especially something like a messenger bag, and you really just need to do the inside of it, um, we have a tutorial. It's our TARDIS bag tutorial. Um, and we make the whole bag from start to finish. We even show you how to include a very simple, easy to make lining. You can make it out of a t-shirt. It's really, really simple to do. Um, so you can check that out if you want to learn how to add a lining. And I would recommend <laughs> single crochet or half double crochet, or if you want to get fancy, um, especially if you're going to add a lining, waffle stitch. And we've got a waffle stitch tutorial. We um, also have tutorial for that nice big bag. Um, the big one? The market that bag? That would be really good. Well, she's going to make a messenger bag. So. Not, not, is it the market bag? I thought, what's the one that... Um... No, it's not the market bag. We have another one that's a lot bigger than that. You do? It says big stripes on it. That's the market bag. That's then the what's big the small market one? tote. That's the happy scrappy market bag. Oh, the we happy have the mesh ma market bag for fruits yes. and vegetables. And then, just and then the we have the big market big tote market. bag. Okay. It's got stripes on it. But... A messenger bag is different. It's it has different. a, it has a I got you. flap. Yeah. yeah. But the, you're right strap. about the line because that's really what makes it sturdy. Yeah. And the, the lining will, like I say, take all of the strain and stress off the fabric. So yes. I really recommend putting in a lining, um, especially if you're going to be putting books and stuff in it. <laughs> but yeah, single crochet, half double crochet are st <laughs> stiff pattern stitches. They're simple stitches. So if you're doing, if you're making it up out of your head, then, and you've never really done that before, I recommend just going with simple single crochet or half double crochet because that allows you to like um, kind of make it as you go. You don't have to worry about trying to fit in stitches if you're working on a complicated pattern. But if you know what you're doing and you're just sort of like not really worried, you want to design it around the stitch, then the basket, the what? The waffle stitch is good. You're not letting me finish my sentence. <laughs> I'm trying to get your attention. Okay. Well, you have to let me finish my, my, I my thought. I don't want to let you finish. <laughs> Clearly. My job here is to not let you finish your sentences. <laughs> Didn't you know that? Hmm. I'm it's, in to... the, it's in my description. I'm, I'm going to have to change your job description. I I'm supposed to wait till you're it. halfway through your sentence, and then I'm supposed to interrupt you. <laughs> that's that's why I that's got, the role of husband. That's not, why not I got hired. <laughs> oh, that's my role. I'm doing the wrong job yeah, yeah, right now. Got the wrong I've got them flipped. <laughs> Um, so we have a super chat from Vima. Hi, Vima. Crochet with Vima. Thank you. Vima super chat says, <laughs> hi, Jada. Today I did the scrunchie. Yay! It was Woo! so easy and exciting. Looking for more. Do you have any exercise headband tutorials as I would love to make one? Um, those are typically on the stretchy side, but Vima, I would say one of these would go a long way you can make it um you can use a stretchier stitch definitely use cotton um i mean gosh you could tie one it make you putting ties on it would allow you to tighten it up uh as you go because obviously if it's crocheted it's going to stretch out a little bit and i'm guessing that if you're actually sweating into it and then washing it and sweating and washing and everything it's gonna it's gonna loosen up and it's gonna stay loosened up so so putting ties on it will help keep it tight on you but if you wanted you could make it sort of to fit the circumference of your head make it a little on the tight side because it will loosen up and you could always sew a little bit of sewing elastic on on the inside which would just whoop, cinch it back up again so that's possible that's kind of a neat project mm, hey, a shout out to oneka who's from guyana hey well hi well, Hello from welcome canada. hi good afternoon i am from guyana i think i'm pronouncing that correct love your work thank you very much it's a uh, it's a global it's a global community it's a global here. community <laughs> cool that's, that's uh that is very far from here it is very far from yeah do you have the results on this poll? You did. You told uh, me yep. 59 Yeah, 59% right? say haircut. But then, here's the, okay. I almost have to do the poll again, oh. because the second that that all came up, 
uh, we got a flood of comments that almost looked like 50 50 okay. where people are like, like adamant it, like it. like it's like adamant do not cut it <laughs> And then the other, you know, it's like, yeah, cut it. Shame it off. But the people that are don't cut it, they're like, you know, forcefully saying don't cut it. <laughs> it's so pretty. Girl, okay. that afro hair I, I says can't Christine. Do it. I can't bring myself to cut it off. It's so it's so pretty. <laughs> Funny thing about the hair is that it, it changes, you know, obviously if it's a bit damp or a bit dry, like it'll go more afro-y. If mm -hmm. it's a bit damp, it'll kind of fall it'll a little more. Yeah, not me. I have straight, straight, straight hair. Mm -hmm. I have to work hard no to get matter curl what into it. The temperature. Mine yeah. changes depending on the humidity. If I put curls in and then it's there's a hint of humidity, boom, they just all fall out completely. E Peaches says, Jada, your makeup is amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you look very pretty today. I'm Someone a, else mentioned how to, beautiful you look today. You gotta dress up for your guests. You gotta, you gotta make everybody feel welcome. That's right. At least that's, that's, that's you gotta I, zazz it up a little. That's bit. what I think. You gotta yes. yeah, zazz it up a little. All right, I have one more bookmark. Are you gonna interrupt me, or can I get to the last bookmark? You're gonna interrupt me, aren't you? That's that's your giant smile on your tongue. Am I doing the right job? <laughs> I don't know. I was I'm actually off track now. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, if you're I'm in, wearing you down. You? I'm wearing you down. I can tell. This is great. I don't know if you're in husband mode or moderator mode. You know mode. what? I keep. I think I keep flipping back and forth. It's the heat. It is hot. I'm here. short circuiting, so I don't know what. Am mode. I rosy cheeked? I feel like I might be um, rosy cheeked. A little. It's warm. Just a here. hint. Yeah. Beautiful day out, though. I um, no, this is legit. Okay. I just wanted to wait to interrupt you. Oh, that's it's all. Much more fun. <laughs> we got a super chat. Hey, wonderful. Thank this you. This is from the well known Ronald Jones. Ronald and Catherine. Hey, guys. Thank you. Big thank you to Ronald and Catherine. Hi from Catherine and Ron. We like your hair long. Thank Don't you. cut it. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you both. Love you. Oh, thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Long hair is nice. I like it. I like it on you. I like it on me. Yep. Yeah, long hair is pretty. <laughs> thanks. Right very now, much, it's guys. kind of a little more. It's kind of like a little more rounded. Yeah. Well, if you pull it, it's, like it's, beca it's, it's because it's humid. Yeah, it's humid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, last bookmark. A lot of you may know this one because we just did it recently on the show. It's our polka dot bookmark. I love this one because it's a very classic style. We used our um, big dots or our cookie stitch from our mile a minute, um, mighty mile a minute calendar blanket. This was the June stitch, and we made a we made one with a. Slightly larger yarn. So this is like a size one sock weight yarn or maybe like a size one crochet thread, which is they both kind of have the same number designation. Um, and then I made the exact same one only using a much finer crochet thread, small steel hook, just so you can see the difference. So it's the exact same pattern. Um, but depending on, you know, maybe how book, how big the book is that you're giving or you're getting or you have, you can sort of vary up the size of your yarn or thread weight and the size of your hook and you can use the same pattern and get two very different sized bookmarks. I really like this. This is a classic bookmark. It's a little bit lacy. It's kind of pretty. It's not difficult to do and because we have a tutorial in which we do the big dots or the cookie stitch using a regular weight yarn and a medium sized hook, you can see the stitches coming together a little bit easier in that mighty mile a minute tutorial if you find looking at the small stitch work that we did in the bookmark tutorial is a bit difficult but we just did that one I absolutely love it I'll probably be doing more because I love bookmarks so we have three bookmark tutorials so if you're looking for something fun and cute and kid-like we've got one if you're looking for something that's a little more um I guess fancy like for the moms out there that love their books or their magazines we've got that pretty flower bookmark that has the free pattern and then of course this one which is sort of the classic um, that's just a really pretty, pretty bookmark. So that one would go nicely in just about any kind of book. And of course you can change the colors, change the thread count. And those are the four categories of quick and easy back to school projects. Some of these have sort of a fall-ish feel. They could kind of be back to school or fall. I know we, lo we often think about like apples and pencils and new clothing and markers and stationery and stuff when we're thinking back to school. So we have some apple stuff, we have some pencil stuff, uh, we have some wearable stuff. But then again, you know, like, why not get a head start on pumpkin season? <laughs> I love pumpkins. Not everybody's into apples. Um, did, but, we, uh, um, did we get that particular uh, bookmark? Which one? This one? The one you just showed? Yeah. 
That's the polka dot bookmark. Okay, that's the yeah. one I just plugged in. Yeah, we right. have three different bookmarks. Actually, well, didn't we, we have just a just do one recently. Yeah, that was this one. Was that that yeah, one? Okay, that was this one. We also have a hidden fourth bookmark tutorial that's really old and really oh yeah hidden. So if you can find that uh, and comment down below in the comment section, which one that a might little be, scavenger that's a, hunt. That's a real scavenger hunt. There is a fourth bookmark. Yes, and it is, it is not a secret bookmark. Not crocheted. It is on YouTube. Yeah. There is a video. There's a video tutorial. Wait a second. Oh, yeah. Now we're thinking of two different things. Because I'm thinking of a bookmark that you didn't include here. Mm -hmm. But then you just said it's not crocheted. But it is crocheted, the mm -hmm. one I'm thinking of. No, it's not the one I'm not, I'm not I'm thinking of. I don't think we've done. The one I'm thinking of is I'm not thinking, crocheted. I don't want to spoil it, no. but I'm thinking of one that we did. A year, a year and a half ago. Are you thinking of the flower? Yeah. <laughs> I already talked about that one. Why you really aren't paying attention I'm to it? I'm not me. paying attention at all. <laughs> That's the one with the free pattern on the website. That's why you put the the, the website. <laughs> oh my god! I am not. I'm gonna get fired. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I are did. you even in the same room with me? <laughs> it's the heat. It's the heat. Um, I did post that in you the did. chat while yeah. we were talking I know. about it. I, I just didn't you. realize it was the same one. Yeah, it's the flower. Yeah. So the one you're talking about. Yes, you don't remember. See, definite scavenger. Hunt. I think I remember something adjacent to it. It is a much older. You know what? This is great. Let's yeah. see. Let's see if anyone can find it and put it, it in the comments um, after after the show. Yeah. So if anybody has any questions. About of course Cameron found of it. Of course found Cammy. it. Cameron is a good sleuther. Cammy knows. He, he knows how to find things. All right. Well, don't don't tell anyone yet. Um, put it in the chat. After, yes. Put, uh, put it in, it in the comments after the stream ends. Uh, if you anyone has any questions about back to school projects, the kind of yes. fiber you might want to use, anything it, like that, it was teacher Kimmy. gifts. It was Kimmy who sent the cones. Yes. Okay. Good. So that's good to know. <laughs> yes, I saw that. I saw that about. Probably a couple hours ago. Trina right? says you just can't get good help these days. <laughs> it's true. You just can't find. You know what? As soon as the stream's over, I'm gonna get the talk. <laughs> I might or get. I might get pooch. handed a pink I'm... slip, but in this case, it'll be pink crochet. Like here's your pink slip. You, you receive a pink a pink crochet item. That means you you have <laughs> to pack fired. your pack your desk. Is that like it's. See, all it's the opposite of a rose, like on the badge. Like, is, is that what they give people, or is that what they give people when they're getting rid of a pink crochet slip? I don't know. I've never seen the show. I just know there's like people handing roses it just, out. It's got get out stitched on it. <laughs> Thank you. You're done. Please leave. Rude, rude bookmarks. That would be hilarious. What were those cups? We were we were laughing. Tea cups. We were laughing with mom and stitches. Insulting teacups. I found. Has anyone ever seen some those? posts on on Pinterest for people selling them on on Etsy? And they're I think they're called rude teacups or insulting teacups. And I want a set. They yeah. are so funny. They they they're like fancy fancy old school like high tea teacups with the saucer and everything. But just on the inside of the lip and gorgeous fancy gold script say things like nobody likes you or <laughs> please, please leave. Stop talking or get out or <laughs> please stop talking you've been poisoned <laughs> you've spoken enough you've been poisoned <laughs> you've outstayed your welcome i love it <laughs> that is that is that is my that's my sense of humor there it's like just i love those they're so fancy it's and you think oh funny. what's that say <laughs> those are great i love those yes this, my mom and stitches and i are having a good hoot over those <laughs> yes hi you're not really interrupting Drum roll. i was just about to have a sip of water Ah, oh, my timing was off. Um, we got a super chat from Mandy. Hey, Mandy, thank you. Mandy says, hi, I should probably know this, but what is that piece hanging under the subscribe pillow on the bookshelf? Oh, that is, actually, I'll get one. I've got a few over here. Give me a second. That is... Um, it's a big doily placemat that we did uh, a little while ago. We've got a for it. Doily placemat? Big uh, doily what's placemat? That, what is it, F7 again? Cami help. Oh, control <laughs> I don't F. remember what it's called. <laughs> um. It's, uh, yeah, it's, anyway, we just did one. Um, that's the exact same thing as this. And then also you could do it in two tones if you want, just sort of the white Doily placemat. And I just realized that this would, if you did it all in black or gray, it would make kind of a neat. Doesn't look like we have. It, it looks a little bit little, like a little cobweb. List. It would look make kind of a neat set of 
placemats for uh, Halloween. Just look up Jada and Stitch's doily placemat. Hmm. Yes, I think I think that's what it's called. I think it's a doily placemat. I think. Or kitchen stuff. Sunburst? Maybe our kitchen sunburst doily. I Maybe don't remember. Maybe our kitchen playlist has it. Yeah, I know the kitchen playlist has it, but we just we just did it a little while ago. It wasn't too long ago, but that's that's what that is. So. We've got in caps. Do not cut hair. Do not. Cut. <laughs> I might have to redo that poll. I don't want to cut it. It's too pretty. Uh, but yeah, that's um. These don't take very long. This is kind of a fun pattern. If you haven't tried that or you're looking for kind of a neat, <laughs> a neat placemat pattern. But I just realized if you did it all in black, that would look really cool as oh, Halloween placemat. Cameron found it. Starburst Modern Doily Placemat, February 26, 2021. Thank you, Cammy. Thank you, Cameron. Yes, that so is that, a, that's, a, that's a relatively new yeah, one. That is a new one. Yeah, February. I'm I knew thinking, it I'm thinking of the ago. oval placemats. Those were, those were way back. Yeah, because we've got a few other placemats. But yeah. that's what... That's what this is. Yes. Um, so it's it's a good placemat, but it also yeah, makes so just, just a pretty copy, side table uh, thing. Copy what Cameron said mm -hmm. there and paste it in YouTube search, and it'll pop right up. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. All right. Or um, Google search. Google either search. either one of those. The search any, bar. Any search engine. The search. Yeah. Pop up. The the YouTube search bar. You're probably there already. Yeah. Just click the little magnifying glass. That's the search bar. Um, I love that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Still getting, still getting uh, outside of the poll request to not cut the hair. So I'm going to say it's probably 50-50. Right. So we it. should flip a coin or maybe spin the. Uh, I'm just not going to cut it. The granny square game wheel. And I, and your mother's to on cut my or side, not to so cut, maybe roll the die. We're not. <laughs> yeah, but you'd have to like. A six. What's that mean? Uh, it cut means hair? I don't have to cut your hair. <laughs> <It's> my, <laughs> hey, that's my dice. <laughs> um, all right. Well, guys, I just wanted to. Um, sort of say, hey, we wanted to hang out for a little while. We wanted to do another little project roundup, especially since we had a few questions about some back to school projects, <laughs> notably the quick and cute type. Um, so hopefully there's a few there, one or two maybe that you guys might want to consider doing right now, or maybe making making a few of things and adding to your making head stash. <laughs> and uh, you're still having a good time over there. It's they're, they're, they're coming in thick and fast. So it's cut hair, don't cut, cut, don't, cut, don't, cut, don't. And then who was it here? Trolling. Christy says, new poll. Should Mr. and Stitches get a mohawk? <laughs> I've actually had a mohawk many times because whenever mom and Stitches cuts my hair after it's been long or you do, we always leave, they always leave me with a mohawk so they can make fun of me for 20 minutes. I kind of like it though. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to check my notes and make sure I didn't forget anything. I know I brought up all the... The goodies. Yeah, I did. Um, we have a back to school playlist. Mr. and Stitches can put yes, that in. Yes, I put the it in the beginning thing. and now I will put it in the end. We've got about 30 different projects in there. So some of them, we focus more on the, the quick stuff today, but we've got things in there like oh, we, headbands, wearables, ponchos, blankets, stuff like that. Um, all yeah. of it is kind of nice for back to school or into the fall or back to the books or going away for the first time. Any, any kind of like back to learning concept that you might find yourself in. Full mullet. I say full mullet. <laughs> Business in the front and party in the back. Business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> I should go full mullet. That I I don't know. I don't know if you'd see. The, well, it'd be very curly. You would, it would, <laughs> that might not be too bad. I don't know. <laughs> we got a hello from the Philippines. Hi, hi from Canada. Hello from Calgary. Wow, it's it's a it's a. We got ho hellos from the UK <clears throat> from earlier. Here. Thank you. <laughs> I know it's getting later over there. YTFP says, hi, Jada. Hi, Mr. and Stitches. And hello to the Chibis. <laughs> oh, yeah. How are little Chibis they're doing? They're hiding. They're, they're way in the back. There the they back. are, down there. Oh, well, there's two here. Yeah. And two. then there's there's one up there. There they are. Yep. And there's one up there. Yeah. Um, all right, guys, if you have any questions uh, or ideas for back to school projects, anything like that, please feel free to leave them in the comment section because this live tutorial or live stream, I should say, is going to come to an end. Um, but the comment section is always open, so you can always write a little comment underneath there. And uh, we do our best to get to everybody's questions. Um, also, if it's an older video, I'm just going to sort of say this. Make sure if you've got a question, you quickly breeze through the comments, because if it's an older video, there's a good chance that your question may have been asked already. Um, things, questions like, you know, how do you make it bigger? How do you make it smaller? Um, you know, 
the, the, the standard questions that you often see on a on a crochet tutorial, just skim through some of the comments because you might already see that um, having been answered it because I can't always get to things quickly. I try to get to comments at least once, sometimes twice a week. But, you know, if I've just done them and then you ask a question, I don't see it for a few days, then, you know, <laughs> I might not be able to get to you in a timely time. Chances I mean, are it was answered already on, older on an videos. older one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Probably like 80, 80, 90 percent. Yeah. Because um, most of the questions are common. Yes. And also make sure you check the description boxes under our videos. Uh, frequently, we've got pattern notes under there. We have helpful links. Um, and if you click the read more, there's a little like bolded print that says read more. Um, or if you're on a phone or a tablet, there's just a little tiny arrow right underneath the video. Or if it's the name of the video, tap that and it'll drop the whole um, description box down. And there's all sorts of information in there. And sometimes there's, you know, like, hey, do you have do you have a matching coaster for this place, Matt? Why, yes, we do. Find the link in the tutorial. Um, so just yes. always check the always check the description box because you might find answers to your question there too. Um, yeah. So just a, I've seen that coming up recently on the channel, so I wanted to mention that. Uh, to everybody just a little because they keep changing the software i know when we first when we first were using youtube on our phones everything was like the description box sat right underneath the video and it wasn't hidden and you had to just scroll down before you got to this the comments but they keep kind of changing it i think in an effort to make it more efficient so that you can kind of i don't know kaleidoscope things make them bigger make them small i'm not sure what their planning is but um they keep moving stuff around so i wanted to make sure that what used to be easy to find, like the description box, is kind of hidden now for some people, especially if you're new to YouTube. Not everybody's been on YouTube um, sort of hanging out for as long as we have. So on YouTube, what did it just had its 15th anniversary, didn't it? 15, I yeah. think. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think we'll call it quits for the night. It is getting kind of warm in here, and we have a nice cold soup waiting for us for dinner. <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> cold soup. Hey, on a hot day, gotta love it. Not that bad, but it's it's it's. What should I, I should call it? What is it? Uh, uh go go go. Supa? No, go. Starts with a G. Cold soup. Great. Cold tomato soup is gazpacho. Gazpacho. Yeah, gazpacho. Gazpacho. Yeah. Oh yeah, someone said it here. Thank you. Gazpacho. Yes, gazpacho. Gazpacho, or I guess. Um, Heck no, I guess that's the only real word for it. There's another word here. I don't know. Salsa. Consomme? Oh, a consomme? Consomme? Yeah. Uh, is consomme usually cold? I know you can drink it cold, but isn't... Like, I always thought consomme was something that you'd have, like, hot. At least that's what I had growing up. Consomme is great. It's like broth. broth. It's really good if you've, like, got a cold or something. Love that. Mm. Ugh. Nothing so like a hot mug of broth. Soups, eh? Yeah. And yeah, you can have cold consomme. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> and now we're talking about food. All right. My darlings, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Take care, stay safe. Check out the description box for all of the links. We will add those in about 20 minutes from now. So if you want to come back, um, feel free to do that and you can find them there. You can always search Jaden Stitches and the name of the project you're looking for. We have a link to the playlist. We'll have that in the description box as well. We'll also pin it in the top comment. So if you come back in a little while, it'll be right there. You should be able to see it. I will also pin link the um, channel homepage. Yes. And then you can use the search box on the channel. Yes. And it searches specifically the channel you're on. That's handy too. So then you can look up hair bands, you know, hair. Yeah. Um, Perfect. Thank you. Back to decisions. school. Uh, and we will see you Friday. I got to earn my keep here. Otherwise, I'm yeah, going to get gotta, that pink crochet you, slip. You've got to score some more Please points. Please leave. <laughs> you've been poisoned. Pack a box. <laughs> Pack a box. Here's your box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. I can't believe. We're already Thursday, so it's only two days from now. Where is all the time going? This is the old link, but I think it still works. Probably. Basically, you just type uh, youtube.com slash Jaden Stitches. Stitches. Mm -hmm. This one has a C, but that's okay. I think that still works. Okay, so we're wrapping it we're up wrapping for tonight. It up. Have a good one, everybody. We'll see everyone on Friday Take for a care. new video. Mm -hmm. And uh, get crafty. Have a wonderful couple of days. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>